Professor? You should not be here. This is private property. Mr. President, I'm so sorry. Ah, good evening, Professor. This is Major Agnew. Major Agnew, Professor. Mr. President, this is indeed an honor. I had no idea. Well, our country's been pouring a lot of money into this secret research of yours. I thought we should find out what we've been paying for. Indeed. It so happens you are here just in time, Mr. President, Major Agnew. I do not think you'll be disappointed. Behold, then, the giant death ray! Well, I'll be... Professor, is that a laser? Yes, Major Agnew, the giant death ray is indeed a laser. And now perhaps you'll be so good as to place this simple tin of peaches into the path of my laser's beam. What? Do it, Major. Please. <laughs> Gentlemen, the price of those peaches has just been ascertained electronically and is stored in the information banks of my giant death ray. I thank you. Any questions? Well, one question that obviously leaps to mind, Professor... Uh, Professor... Death. Professor Death. <laughs> is why on earth you elected to name this contraption of yours the giant death ray. Oh, I see. <laughs> Professor Death. Mr. President. I, I have a question. This laser of yours. Death ray, yes. If you were to increase the intensity of its beam. Intensity, yes. Could your death ray not also be used to... Perform delicate eye surgery? Yes! No, uh, wh what I'm asking, Professor, is might this death ray of yours not also have some, well, some military application? The giant death ray? A military application? Yeah. Oh, yes, of course, a, a military application. Yes, I, why, I, I'll just go and check. <laughs> no! Professor Death! Professor, you're destroying it! Forgive me, Mr. President, but I am a man of science, not of war. I intended the dire death ray to be used for good, not evil. Okay! To help mankind, not to destroy it! Please, Professor, stop! I understand! Please, Professor Death! Thank you. Okay, so what else can you show us? To be used for good? Absolutely. None of that evil use. Good uses, yes. <laughs> Very well. It was my intention to help mankind further, Mr. President, Major Agnew, by affixing the giant death ray to this. The armored scorpion of death. Behold! Why, by all that's... Place behind the counter of any local convenience store, the armored scorpion of death's claws not merely aids the stacking of high shelves, but also easily facilitates the movement of household goods through shoulder-mounted beams maintained by its triangular red eyes. And the sting? Fires helpful bullets. Major. Well, if... Of course, Mr. President, the military applications of such a device... No! <laughs> Professor! Forgive me, Mr. President, but I created the laser-fitted armored scorpion of death to help mankind, not to destroy! What's this unlimited power bomb? Ah, now that... No! Oh, I'm on to you, Major Agnew. Yeah, I got your number. This bomb was created to help mankind, not destroy! And this? Mind-controlling death ants. No! The mind-controlling death ants were created to help mankind, not destroy it! Doom melon? No! <laughs> the doom melon! Still needs some work. 